Hi, this is Brandon Slater from thirstgym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Zotteman Curls. It's a great arm bicep exercise. It can also even be a grip exercise. And what's awesome about this is that we're going to be able to train the biceps um, a little bit differently than your standard curl. So the biceps, most people think of the bicep brachii or the big peak muscle. There's other muscles involved that make up your arm. So it's important that we train those to maximize our arm strength. But even when it comes to performance, a lot of times getting quality arm work in because that can be important for certain athletes, but also making sure we're getting some quality supination and pronation um, at the wrist can be a great thing which this exercise provides what you're going to need is two dumbbells and if you've done a regular uh, bicep curl with dumbbells very similar so we're just going to curl the dumbbells up towards our face however what we're going to do is we're going to turn our palms down and eccentrically lower under control so each rep the palms come up turn control on the way down so it's a little bit of work because you got to have to move your wrist each time, but you're almost going to feel like a robot having your wrists come up, turn, break it down into steps. The key component to this, this part's actually probably going to be easy, and the lowering part's not going to be too bad, but if you're not training any of the backside of your forearm, you're going to feel this definitely over time, and we really want to control that eccentric as we lower the dumbbells. So get those palms over as much as you can, really control the whole range of motion, just like that. Okay, super easy. Um, when it comes to programming, two, four, five sets, uh, six to 12 reps is pretty good. You gotta think it's quite a bit of time and attention going back down. But any athlete um, that could benefit one, and not just supination, thinking about all your power lifters and whatnot, supination is definitely great with our bicep curls. It's gonna help some upper back expansion while we're here, uh, but also flipping that over and working the back side of the forearms. It can also help prevent some elbow issues, maybe even some shoulder issues. Now, when it comes to your athletes, think about wrestling, um, any kind of combat sports, grip is incredibly important. So not only do we need to strong, have strong biceps as we hold stuff and grapple and things, but also that eccentric and lowering of the weight with the hands pronated, then you're definitely gonna find that the brachialis and some of those other muscles are going to have to work into overdrive and control. And usually when your hands are getting taken away, you think if you've got a wrist and someone's trying to pull it away, eccentrically, that's going to lower. But we're also going to get that grip work on the way down. That way we don't drop the dumbbell. Want to make these even harder, put some fat grips on them. You're going to find a ton of grip work, but also a lot of great bicep involvement as well. So if you got any questions about the Zotomacurl, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.